Welcome to another Tech Talk, where we provide helpful answers to your technology questions. I'm David Grant from Creative Technology Solutions, and we partner with small business and not-for-profit organizations in northern Indiana who need better results from their technology. And today, I'm going to respond to a Facebook post asking, when using PowerPoint-created slides in Apple's keynote, how do you get the slides to rotate every six seconds in a loop? Good question. Keynote is a user-friendly tool, but does require a bit of learning. But out of the box, you can make simple slideshows, then have Keynote function as a looping slideshow, or even export it as a video if you'd like. With this, you can airplay your slideshow or just connect your system directly and create your own digital signage solution or just show a slideshow at a party or something. So it's really only a couple clicks. So let's do it, and let's even add some nice little transitions to give the slides some extra punch. Okay, here's our PowerPoint presentation. We're going to use our Cloud Computing Webinar PowerPoint file. If you want to listen to our whole Cloud Computing Webinar, check out the link at the bottom of the screen. First, we need to open the PowerPoint file using Apple's Keynote application. Now, Keynote is a free app provided by Apple with the purchase of your system, but you have to download it before you can use it. If you've not done that, you should be able to do that from the App Store. Once it's installed on your system, right-click or control-click on the file and choose Open With. That will open another panel showing all applications your computer thinks might be able to read that file. Look for the Keynote option and select it. Now that your presentation is open, you'll want to see all the slides in the navigator along the left side of the screen. If you do not, choose View from the menu bar, then select Navigator, which is the third item down from the top of the menu. We need to select all of the slides. Click on any slide in the navigator and choose Edit from the menu bar, then select Select All. Or after selecting a slide, press Command A. Let's add a transition to all of our slides. This feature can quickly get out of control, but maybe if you're looking for something a little fun, this might be a good way to go. You can skip this step if you prefer to just transition directly from slide to slide, but for now, we're going to head to the Animate pane on the right side of the page and add a simple fade between each slide. With all slides selected, choosing an effect now will apply to all of them. Click Add an Effect and choose the effect you prefer. If you want to customize your transitions, you can choose a different transition effect only for a single slide or each individual slide by selecting them individually, then applying the transition. But again, since all of our slides are selected, this is applied to all of them. So from the list, you can preview the transitions by clicking Preview to the right of each transition. And we'll keep it simple and choose Fade Through Color. Now, if you just want the straight transition between each slide, you can select or leave the default to none. The start transition controls will be there regardless of your selection here, and that's really what we need next. This is where we tell the slideshow to happen automatically and the set the length of each slide. So let's change on click from the start transition dropdown to automatically and set the delay to six seconds. Now if you go to the first slide and hit play, you'll see the slideshow start and transition every six seconds with our fade through color transition. As it is, the slideshow will only play through one time and stop, so now we need to tell it to loop. Head to the top right hand corner of the screen and choose the document pane. In the slideshow settings, you'll see the loop slideshow option. Select that. Now if you hit play, you're transitioning every six seconds and looping until you hit the escape key to quit. And if you wanted to export your slideshow as a movie that just goes through the slideshow one time, let's say if you have a video player that will loop a video file, choose File, Export To, and select QuickTime. You'll set your slide settings again and it will process your video. So as you can see, Keynote makes it pretty easy to create a standard presentation. And if you get really creative, some basic motion and animation options as well. It's not an application you would use to create intense motion animations for your videos, uh, but it could be used in a pinch for some basic logo reveals or something to drop into a video project. 
but it is great for a simple maybe announcement slideshow for a church, a digital menu display at a restaurant, digital signage in your business, or just showing off some family pictures at a party. And we hope this was helpful to introduce you to maybe an application or a feature you weren't aware of. If you have any questions, fill out the form at the bottom of this page or go to this URL and we'll see what we can do to help. But maybe if you'd like to talk with someone for some training for your business or to answer specific questions related to your business, fill out the form at this link, www.creativetext.biz slash free assessment, and someone will get in touch with you as quickly as possible to get something on the calendar.